and your support every day between here and then. I'm going to share a few facts with you that you might not be aware of. According to the Texas Bond Review Board, Hayes County is ranked number one in debt to assess property value in the state of Texas, ahead of 253 other counties. Also, according to the Texas Bond Review Board, Hayes County is number six in debt per capita owned by the county. Also, uh, they said that, uh, they told us that in 2005, when my opponent took office, Hayes County's debt was $32 million. Today, it approaches $300 million. That's an 810% increase in the past seven years. We've got to change this. My opponent usually points to the Democratic court for where this debt came from. He voted for a $70 million government center, non-voter approved debt. This Taj Mahal was built in a floodplain next to a railroad track with your money and with your children's money. We've got to make a change here. If you elect me, my commitment to you is that we will not take on any new debt without going to the voters. My commitment to you is that we'll do business in the public eye to where it's viewable by everybody. And my commitment to you is that I'll deal with you honestly in the state of the county. Thank you. especially the Wimberley Valley Republican Club for hosting this today. I know I speak for all Republicans in the room when I say thank you for all the time, work, and dedication that many of you have put in to help make our party stronger here in Hayes County. I'd also like to thank my family, my wife Erin, my daughter Eve, my son Abram, who's not here because it's past his bedtime, for allowing me and giving me the opportunity to serve uh, they've always been very supportive. This job takes a lot of late nights and weekends away from your family. Uh, they've always been supportive, and thank you, Aaron, for letting me do this. Uh, third, and finally, I'd like to thank the colleagues that I serve with today. Many of them are here. They're first-class individuals. And working together, we have great public service in this county, and this county is moving in the right direction in the interest of the citizens of Hayes County. I'm a Christian, a proud American, a Texas State graduate, a local businessman, and have had the honor of serving you as your county commissioner for the last eight years. The state of your county is very strong. When I took office, the county's credit rating was at minus triple B. Today it's a double A plus. The county savings account, what we call reserve, which is north of $8 million. Today it's $31 million. I have balanced eight, I'm sorry, seven budgets and have eight different financial audits in which the county has aced in my time in office. Public safety is at an all time high. There are tax cuts for seniors and disabled while never voting to increase tax rates on everyone else. We're better prepared today for emergency services than we've ever been prepared before in our county's history. Our county road system is, is good, in good shape. We're building and improving our state highway system all across Hayes County, under, under budget and on time. I've had the great honor of serving this area. I'd like to continue to do so. I know this community well. I live in this community. Everything I have is vested in this community. Uh, I ask for your support and look forward to the rest of the debate. First question is concerning the Hayes County budget. Will you vote for a county budget that will increase the county's tax rates and how we manage spending to ensure that the budget is balanced. First up, Will Conlon. Well, it's easy. I'll continue to do what I've done as your county commissioner. 
like I just said, I have never voted for a tax rate increase in seven years of going through budgets here in Hayes County. We've had a tremendous amount of challenges in Hayes County, which is normal with a growing community. We've been able to set the right priorities and balance those budgets and not get deeper into your back pocket. Again, the credit ratings have improved here in Hayes County. Our savings have grown. We have balanced budgets. Every bit of debt in this county today is already being paid for in your tax rate. There's no black helicopters here. We have to account for every single penny that we are spending every year here in Hayes County. We are paying for that today in your tax rates today. The average homeowner in Hayes County pays $750 a year for every service that the county does from the courthouse to the jailhouse and everywhere in between. I think that's pretty good value. I think we've met the challenges of the day. We're planning for the future. And uh, with uh, my re-election and the help of my colleagues, we'll continue to make sure that this county stays on track. I think being able to manage the budget without having to raise the property tax rate is a lot easier than we let on. There's a lot of spending that takes place and doesn't have to take place. Now, we've got a lot of projects that are on, uh, in the process of coming online, and we need to be watching those carefully. But I tell you, I run into a little bit of a problem when I've seen, and we've all seen now that we know, the debt increase 800%. And my opponent comes up here and says he's balanced the budget for seven years in a row. Those two are not, uh, uh, they don't go together. So we've got to make a decision. Are we going to listen to this kind of explanation for where, how, where we are and how we got here? Are we going to take a look at the facts and understand that debt is dangerous to us? If we're going to be conservatives, if we're really conservative here, then we know, we know at the federal level, we know at the state level, we know at the local level. We don't need the sales pitches and the slick talk about why this is not harmful to us. We all know here that it is. As far as the savings in the bank account, that is required by the ratings agencies in order to keep a double A rating so that we can go out and borrow more money again. So we've got about $200 for every man, woman, and child sitting in a county bank account earning practically 0% interest for the sole fact that we can go out and borrow more money. That's not conservative. Thank you. First, a few points. Where I come from, savings is conservative. And that is good financial practice. Second, it is not fancy talk or any type of smoke and mirrors. It is the law here in the state of Texas that we have to balance budgets. So it's just a fact that we have seven balanced budgets here in the state of Texas. It's the law our federal government should take a hard look at implementing. And second, my opponent, since he has moved into this town, has talked about spending in budgets, preparing himself to run for office. I ask some of you that are on the fence, considering who to work for, ask him if he's ever proposed one detail on how to do that, what service he would change, what project he would stop here in Hayes County, and I guarantee you he doesn't have an answer for um, What we did, starting about 15 months ago, is we created the Hayes Citizens Budget Project, and it was me and two people originally. And we went through the budget, and we went through 10 years of financial reports to put together the trends on where we're going financially. We took our presentation out to seven different groups around the county. And we had 93 people, 93 people sign on and said, yes, we're concerned, and we want a public discussion about this. 89 of them said, we want public hearings where we can cross-examine and get answers to where we really are. Our commissioner's court and my opponent rejected that. They would not hear it. We need to have an honest public discussion on this. Thank you.
candidates have alluded to this. Now we're going to ask, what specifically earns you the designation of being a conservative, and how will you govern as a conservative on the commissioner's court? First up, Sam Brady. Well, we've got a number of things that we need to do on the commissioner's court, um, one of which is we need to put agenda items on the, on the agenda that are in plain English so that we can understand them. I hope you don't mind if I read this real quick. This came from four weeks ago. Possible action to approve a resolution establishing the county's intention to reimburse itself for the prior expenditure of funds from the proceeds of tax exempt obligations to be issued by the county for authorized purposes. Does anybody hear four and a half million dollars in new debt in there? Because that's what got passed. They gave themselves the ability to go out four and a half million dollars for yet another government building, not voter approved. And that's how this stuff is in here. If you're not watching this board and watching what's going on day to day, it takes a lot of time, trust me. It takes a lot of time. But that's why I'm here. We're taking this message out. I don't think that Hayes County uh, Republicans, the Wimberley Valley Republicans, the San Marcos Republicans are in favor of taking on more debt, particularly when it's hidden like this. Guys, we've got a lot of work to do. Openness and accountability has to be primary. We're not going to take on any new debt without going to the voters. I don't think we need any new debt to begin with. Thank you. Precinct 3 County Commissioner in Hayes County, Will Conley and Sam Moran. 